Hey, I'm Dr. Matt Najad, and today I'm going to be talking about from scan to 3D printing and how you can have a streamlined, efficient workflow using Medit Clinic CAD. First, I want to talk a little bit about myself. So I'm in private practice and I practice full time. So I'm doing five days a week of practice and I am also doing education through the Najad Institute, which teaches courses on biomimetic and aesthetic dentistry. And I'm also the managing partner for a large group practice. I take care of all the day-to-day -day activities and all the finances, advertising, and so on. But I'm really passionate about dentistry today, especially digital dentistry, because there's so many applications and possibilities through technology, and it's a whole new era of dentistry with what's possible. However, all this technology has been limited. And as Steve Jobs said, technology alone is not enough. There has to be purpose, there has to be application and utility. And unfortunately, until recently, that wasn't the case because the application and utility was limited. You were able to scan and you were able to print basic things, but a lot of us didn't have either the software, the training or the technology in order to create a good end product. And that all changed when Medit introduced all their suite of apps that help connect digital technology. With the Medit apps, you're able to do so much more and it's empowered us to be able to create restorations and products and all these different things. My team and I are using Medit apps for everything from splints to model builder, doing digital designs, and the possibilities are really endless once you get comfortable using all these different apps. Before using these apps with 3D printing, basically all I was doing was able to create study models or diagnostic casts. And what happened is little by little, we were able to expand into creating restorative models. And then we started making occlusal guards, different appliances. That's been really helpful. And also provisional restorations. And then finally, most recently, permanent restorations. And that's been a huge game changer for my staff, my team, and my patients. Now, the most exciting thing has been the introduction of Medit Clinic CAD with all the different possibilities. And I'm going to share with you how Medit Clinic CAD has transformed the way I practice. And this is something that I'm really excited to share with you and show you all the different possibilities. So in this first clinical case, I'm going to show you a single crown. And I actually started this single crown just before Medic Clinic CAD was available. So this patient comes in and she is missing a tooth. She has no restoration. I can save the tooth. And that's one of the things I'm able to do with biomimetic dentistry. But it's really difficult to start without having a uh, reproduction or a wax up or a design for the tooth. So what I did is I used the Medit design and this is a really cool feature of Medit design where you can clone the contralateral tooth, you can move it into position and basically while the patient was going to have a root canal, I was able to create a model with the tooth on it and also to create a shell temporary to use during the appointment to make this a smoother appointment, save me some time. So she comes back from having her root canal done and now I have a shell and a backup putty that I can use to provisionalize. I did my biomimetic approach, so I'm using rubber dam, I did a buildup. These types of restorations don't need retention in the traditional sense, so it doesn't have a traditional ferrule, it has a one millimeter mini ferrule, but adhesive retention, that's something I'm really passionate about. And so with good isolation and a buildup, I have my final preparation, and then I use the shell provisional relined, and I was able to have a provisional with a little bit of stain and glaze. There's a lot of room for improvement, and I've gotten better with that over the past few months. But the good news is, this is how I did it before, but now we have the ability to do same day printed permanent restorations. You don't need to have a provisional shell. You can go straight to the final restoration and there's a lot of different technologies that had to come together for that to happen, but the time is now. So what I do now, and if I was going back, I would just do this from the beginning, 
is um, do medic clinic CAD. So in this video, I'm showing how you set up the form. I'm selecting the uh, tooth indication, the material is 3D print. You can also pick the shade, but that's really not necessary. And with one click of the button at the top, you open medic clinic CAD and then you can use your pre-op data. You can give it a design data if you had like a wax up for this. Then the first step is to align the model. And when you align the model for the occlusal plane, it generally proposes that with AI, so it's very easy and quick. Go to the next step, and first thing is to mark our margin, and using the AI margin is a huge game changer. It's literally incredible. With one click, I can have 90% of my margin perfectly indicated, and I just usually will tweak you know, one or two different points. So here I'm just changing a little bit of that margin, and we're ready for the next step. So when you're ready, you can click the uh, arrow at the bottom to move on. And now I'm doing my path of insertion. This is also really important. I've been working with my staff on learning and training them to understand that. So here you have the tooth placement and you have a few different choices. You can pick from a different library. There's two different libraries and you can add even more, but a really cool feature is the ability to clone other teeth as well. So if you have a tooth on the other side, like I showed you in the first application, you can just do that within Medic Clinic CAD now. You don't need to piece it together using Medit Design. So here's using the uh, clone tooth from the contralateral, but in this case, I, I'd rather use the design. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the first tooth library and stick with that. So here we have that in position, and now you can use a variety of tools to stretch, to rotate and position the tooth in the proper position. And you could spend a lot of time here, but I try to just get the tooth in the right position, right occlusal plane, Try to make sure there isn't too much heavy occlusion so that the proposal doesn't end up having strange anatomy. And then we let it generate the crown. So here I have the uh, crown being positioned in place. And now I just do a little bit of finishing. So I can use different brushes like add and smooth and remove to kind of improve things. So here I'm taking a little bit away from the contact that was a little bit heavy. And then I am also going to go to the other side on the mesial and take a look at the contact there. Then you can um, add occlusal contact. So I didn't have any occlusal contact on this proposal. Her occlusion was a little bit open on that side. So it was, the proposal was consistent with that, but I decided to add some occlusion. So I'm using the morph tool and the add tool to add a little bit to these areas to get them into occlusion. And one of my favorite things to do is to put the opposing on with translucency so you can look right through it and see where the occlusion is contacting. So you can really fine tune the precision of the occlusion, make it easy to adjust so that when you're delivering, you don't ruin all your anatomy and take away all the characterization you put in. My favorite tools for that are the add, the uh, morph, and a little bit of removal tool. Once you're ready, you can save that and move on. So here is my final restoration with a little bit of transparency so that you can see what the uh, restoration looks like in relation to the prep. And then what I'm using to make these restorations now is a really exciting material from Sprint Ray called Ceramic Crown. This can be billed as a permanent restoration. It has such a high filler content that the CDT codes now allow this to be billed as a final ceramic restoration, even though it's printed. And I'm using what's called the Crown Kit. And what that does is it really accelerates this whole process. So with the Crown Kit, using Medic Clinic CAD and Ceramic Crown, you're able to make this from scan to print in 45 minutes, which is extremely fast. With that pace, I find no reason to do two visit appointments. And one of the, my favorite things about this whole process is that you're able to get this done in one appointment, not use a provisional. The design is five to 10 minutes. Then you have the actual printing, which is oftentimes less than 10 minutes because of that crown kit, it's very rapid. Then with finishing and all the other steps, including characterization, I'm done in about 45 minutes, ready to deliver. And all that is for $7 a unit, which is really incredible. Just think about the unlimited potential this has for 
access to care and improving quality of treatment. So many practices across the world will benefit from this as well as so many different patients. And this can all be done with a printer, a material that costs $7 a unit and software that comes readily available with your Medit scanner. Printing this is also super easy. So I've trained my staff how to use the dashboard from SprintRay. So all you do with this is you take the file that's been created from your Medic Clinic CAD, and then you um, select that you're doing a restoration, you select the material ceramic crown, upload the file, and then AI does all the rest for you. It generates the supports, it positions the tooth in place, and then you just send it to the printer to queue or get printed right away. And in 10 minutes, you have your restoration ready for cleaning. This is after I've cleaned it with alcohol. We did a manual cleaning here just using alcohol and a brush to remove any residual resin on there. Here is the restoration on top of the dyes. And what's really incredible is how precise these margins are. I've been doing dentistry the traditional way for many years, and I've noticed that with a digital approach and digital design and either digital printing or milling, you're able to get the best precision ever, but it all starts with a quality scan. And then from there, with the design, you're able to create a beautiful, high quality restoration. Here I'm using Lush, uh, actually OptiGlaze from GC to create the characterization. So this is just a few different stains and um, a glaze to give this a nice finished look, which integrates very well on cementation. I'm able to put that in with minimal adjustment. My occlusal adjustment was so minimal on this case, and that's been the case with digital dentistry for me. Here I have the final with nice integration from the buckle aspect, the occlusal aspect. And you know, one of my favorite things is that we're on the first generations of this material. Things are only gonna get better and it's already incredible. So I think the potential is incredible for this to be standard practice in dentistry. And then just look at that margin. This is from digital design, digital printing, margin just perfect and I think that's something that I'm still comprehending day in and day out that this digital approach is really the best highest quality dentistry. So now the type of dentistry I do is also based on partial coverage restoration. So not everything I do is a crown. I'm really big on doing inlays and onlays. That's what biomimetic dentistry is all about. So with this Medic Clinic CAD, you can also do that. So in this case, I'm gonna share with you the application of creating an inlay on tooth number 32 using Medic Clinic CAD. One of my favorite things when I'm doing these types of restorations in one appointment is to scan the prep with the rubber dam on. So I don't have to take off the rubber dam. I can finish my prep. I do what's called immediate dentin sealing. And then I can scan with the rubber dam on and design, save some time. And it also makes it really easy to scan without having any issue with moisture or anything getting in the way. Let's watch this video that kind of walks us through the process. So here I've locked most of my scan data and I'm just going over the area of the preparation so that I can just fill that in. And then I'm gonna take that in and my form has to be set up. So I'm gonna pick inlay. I'm gonna do the uh, 3D print option. I never pick the shade. And then you can just go ahead and click that Medic Clinic CAD button, which is gonna open things up. And again, you can either use prepared data or pre-op data. This is prepared data and we get started. First step is gonna to be to mark the margins. So I kind of go through and I mark my margins here. What I'm finding is extending a little bit past the margins is nice for these inlays. That way I can finish them up and really create a seamless result, which I'm gonna share. So I go through and another real cool tip for this is to use a 3D mouse. It really helps maneuver things around and I love that. Pick your path of insertion. It gives you a proposal. Usually I can go with that proposal on restorations like this. And then um, we're going to place our tooth. I'm just kind of fine tuning my margins a little bit here.
So now we're going to place the tooth and it's really important. This step is actually, if you want to get a good proposal, you want to make sure you position things well, take a little bit of time to make sure that you are putting things in the right place. If you're too high on the occlusion on those cusps, it's going to create weird slopes and anatomy. But you see when you position it nicely, we get a really nice proposal and just like before, we can do some sculpting, some smoothing, some defining of these margins uh, or these grooves, I should say. And then once you're ready, you just click save and it's ready to print same way I showed you before using the crown kit. So let's look at some of these steps. This is the pre-op. Here we have the preparation after immediate dent and sealing. This is what I scanned. Then we have the restoration cemented with rubber dam. And what's incredible to me is how seamless this margin is. Using a biomimetic approach, cementing with heated composite, that margin is 100% you know, blended and smooth. And it's just a very nice and simple restoration to create and deliver. And that's great for everybody. And I think I'm gonna be doing a lot more things like this instead of direct restorations, which is a huge benefit, not only to myself, but also for patients for getting a higher quality restoration with better properties. Now I want to share the most advanced type of case that I've done using Medic Clinic CAD. So this is my case number three. And this is one of those cases where I think digital dentistry has really revolutionized the application and the method for completing a longer course of treatment. So this patient has failing number 23 through 26. We've been aware of it for so many years, but we've been postponing it and endo's been watching things, but he wasn't ready to move to implants. But finally things started to get out of hand. So what we did is we did three different appliances or two different appliances in a short period of time. So the first step of this is to use Medit Design. And what I did for that is I created a digital extraction. And what you do here is you take the model and you extract those teeth. And I used his existing tooth forms to be my design for those number 23 through 26 so that I can basically 3D print this Pontic. And I even put like a retention groove on the lingual side so that it would be so easy to make an Essex or a suck down and use that for his immediate provisional right after the day of surgery. My surgeon prefers to not have something fixed at that time. So here's the model that was printed from Medit Design, the Pontic in place. We use that to create a Essex with the Pontic in position. And then this was used on the day of surgery and for the first two to three weeks while tissue is healing. Of course, naturally no patient wants to have something like that for a long period of time. So after two or three weeks, whenever I have the clearance to proceed, it's ready to move into something more definitive. And this is one of the most frustrating things to do with implant treatment because there's so many different provisionals and transitionals and interims that are necessary. It gets costly, it gets frustrating. Patients are wondering why they have to pay for two or three different provisionals. Well, all that is changing because we have the ability to print this and reprint it and it's easy and it's fast and it's cheap. So we really have really new possibilities. So with this case, what I did is I rescanned him so that I can have his existing ridge. And now I'm using Medit Clinic CAD again to create a Maryland bridge. So in this uh, video, what I'm showing is the form setup. So the first thing about the form is you're gonna click coping for number 22 and 27 and everything else is a pontic. We open up and I'm going to use the uh, prepared data option again. You notice I sent my pre-op data there as well and that's going to come in handy later. First step as always is to mark the margins. So here I'm basically indicating where I want my wings to be. So you can do this any way you want, but I'm trying to get maximum surface area so that I can get the maximum amount of retention here and minimize any sort of fracture. And the material I'm gonna use for this, by the way, is gonna be called Onyx Tough, and it's a really good material for these indications. So you go ahead and you place your margin, you do both sides, then you pick your path of insertion, and then you have your, uh, next step is going to be your design. 
So once you're happy with everything, um, I'm just tweaking some margins here, trying to make things nice. And now with the path of insertion, I'm gonna go with lingual incisal, and now you're positioning the teeth. So I'm using the library teeth, and I'm gonna do a few different tools and rotations here to position them in the right place. You can stretch them, you can skew them. My goal is to have a light tissue contact here. So I'm not going to try to extend too much to the ridge, but I also don't want occlusion. So what I'm doing is I'm comparing to my pre-op to make sure that I have a little bit reduced the position of the incisal edges to minimize occlusion on these restorations. So once I'm happy with that, I'll proceed to the next step. And this is where you're gonna use the add or the morph to make changes. You can also get rid of the scan and look at the uh, intaglio surface and, or the tissue contact surface so that you can fine tune how much contact you want. At this point, I'm okay with some soft tissue contact. So using morph is a great way to pull the restoration towards the ridge. And now I can work with the remove brush using either moderate or low strength to remove this to green or yellow. I find that to be good for this stage. If I do a little bit more, I end up having to adjust or I have difficulty in seeding the restoration. So here we have the final restoration ready for printing. This is my final design. And um, so we can proceed to printing this. I print two copies minimum for this, okay? In case there's a fracture, in case I'm not happy with how I stain and glazed it, and even in this case, so that if I need to make another one in a few months because it's time for implant placement, then I can have it already ready and be ahead of the game. In this case, I gave it to the patient because he's traveling and I wanted him to have a backup appliance. So that's another really cool benefit. It doesn't cost much to do this with the Onyx Tough material fits perfectly with minimal adjustment right onto the model. And then I use stain and glaze. Again, I'm using Opti Glaze from GC. Pink, A+, a little bit of uh, pinkish orange to kind of do the cervical area. And I have a beautiful restoration, very easy cementation. Actually, I wanna go back to that and just really point out like how nicely this integrates over here. And this is all with a 3D printed restoration that I was able to design, print, and deliver all within an hour or an hour and a half. I did it before his appointment, but you can do this in one visit very easily. Here's the final in occlusion. You can see the lingual surface blends really nicely. Marginal integrity is really good on these. And the best part is I've done similar restorations and the strength is incredible and it's very stable and it lasts throughout this interim phase of treatment. So throughout these different cases, I've really tried to show you how Medic Clinic CAD is paving the way to a revolution in dental care. Being able to 3D print these restorations, create all sorts of new applications and utility is really the key. And I'm so happy that Medit is providing us the tools to achieve this. It's an exciting time for dentistry and the possibilities are endless. Please make sure you get in touch with me, use this QR code to connect with me on social media or my websites. And I look forward to sharing more great content. Thank you.